In this short demonstration, we'll take a look at some of the advanced functions in the Close Corner command. When adjacent bend edges are selected, the corner is created. Changing the treatment type opens up a number of options. Here, we will select the Mitre Corner option and the material is extended and the Mitre Limits option becomes available. This allows you to define the extent of the closed corner on each side giving total control over the desired material condition. As each edge is selected, the result updates. This can be applied separately for each side of the corner or deselected if not required. Moving on to the next use case brings a common situation where the adjacent web or flange extends beyond the other. With default options, this removes the material such that both follow the same line making them adjacent. Using MITRE limits once more, we can restore the left side to its original position. Now let's explore adding a gap. We see an error is generated when the overlap is set to none. Changing this resolves the error and the corner can be completed. In some situations a corner requires a gap and an overlap. This can easily be achieved with the overlap option and overlap ratio can also be adjusted. Just change the side of the overlap should the overlap direction need reversing. There are a large number of options available in closed corner which we'll address at another time.